The 2022 NBA season is right around the corner, and as is the case with every new season, it represents a fresh start for everyone in the league. A lot can change from one season to another, just ask Giannis Antetokounmpo who went from getting swept in the playoffs one year to winning a ring the very next. There was a time when the NBA was becoming a bit predictable, but lately there's been more parity than we've seen in a while, and while there are a few teams most view as heavy favorites this year, by no means is anyone a lock to go all the way. Star players in the league enter every season with pretty high standards, and sometimes they don't play up to said standards, so their goal then becomes getting back to the level they were once at, and this brings us to the topic of today's video. Today we'll be discussing five star players in particular who, to varying degrees, disappointed last season, and now this year desperately need a big bounce back season. Before we start though, it turns out about 51% of you watching right now aren't even subscribed to the channel, so please, if you enjoy the content, consider hitting the subscribe button, as not only does it help out a ton, but I'd also very much appreciate it. Now with that being said, let's begin. The first player that desperately needs a bounce back season this year is probably the most obvious selection of all for this list, and it's Ben Simmons of the Philadelphia 76ers. We don't know how much longer he'll be on the 76ers, but either way, no player has seen the tide turn on him harder this summer than Simmons has. The debates about his shooting and aggressiveness and overall style of play have raged on for literal years at this point, but all of it boiled over during the Hawks series in the playoffs where he crumbled and this summer the situation has fully reached the breaking point. He's demanding to be traded, he and his camp are refusing to take any accountability for Simmons' individual shortcomings, and they're tanking his stock as much as possible, trying to force his way out. So basically, wherever he eventually goes, and does get sent in a trade, the pressure will be on him to the fullest. Nobody right now believes in his star talent anymore, and while getting a fresh start elsewhere may take some pressure off of him, the only thing that is going to change people's minds about him at this point is if he actually starts to shoot the ball consistently, as well as performing in the playoffs. He needs to improve as a free throw shooter, he needs to show a willingness to take chances and shoot tough shots instead of shying away from them, and he needs to play consistently aggressive, because otherwise, nothing about his production in the playoffs will really change much. The next star player in need of a big bounce back year this season is Anthony Davis of the Los Angeles Lakers. Anthony Davis has been one of the most talented big men in the NBA for years now, and his ascension to the top has put him into the category of one of the best players in the league, especially after the Lakers won the 2020 championship. Last year, though, was a different story, as the Lakers as a team fell way short of expectations, finishing as the 7 seed and losing in the first round of the playoffs, and Davis individually had one of the worst seasons of his entire career. To put it into perspective, last season Davis averaged the fewest points per game in a season since his second year in the league, he shot the worst field goal percentage of his entire career for a season, he grabbed fewer rebounds per game than than he ever had previously in a season in his career, he blocked fewer shots than he ever previously had in his career for a season, and he had the worst ever free throw percentage as well for a season. To put it simply, something just wasn't right with Anthony Davis last year, and the Lakers suffered because of it. We've all seen Anthony Davis dominate both sides of the floor, with a smooth face-up game offensively, and dominant defensive instincts that make him one of the most impactful two-way players in the league. So now, especially with the Lakers reloaded and ready to make another run, they need him to get back to the guy he was two seasons ago. The biggest thing that will allow him to do so, mostly, is maintaining his health, because last season injuries definitely did hamper his play a bit. But when you play alongside LeBron James in his quest for more championship rings, excuses tend to go out the window. The next star player in major need of a bounce back season this year is Kristaps Porzingis of the Dallas Mavericks. 
Porzingis was brought to Dallas to be Luka Doncic's right-hand man and go-to second option. In theory, the pairing was supposed to be dominant offensively, with Porzingis's unique shot creation and shooting ability out to the three-point line, at his size complementing Luka and his ridiculous production. But when the lights were brightest this year in the playoffs, Porzingis crumbled, averaging a mere 13 points per game in the series, and oftentimes just going ghost, not even trying to assert himself. And then rumblings of the two players not exactly being on the best terms resulted in plenty of trade rumors too. Many expected Porzingis to be traded in hopes of the Mavericks landing a legitimate secondary scoring option for Luka, but that never happened, so now the pressure is back on Porzingis to perform at an all-star level. Doncic has emerged so rapidly as one of the best players in the league, and he showed against the Clippers last season that he was ready to lead a team in the playoffs, but he can't do that if his best teammate doesn't do his part. Porzingis got to where he is because of how good he proved to be early on in New York, but admittedly, ever since Porzingis came back from his ACL injury, he hasn't really been the same. Enough time has passed now, he should be back to full strength, and the team needs more from him, so it's up to him him to prove that he can still be that guy. The next star player going into next season in need of a big bounce back year is Jimmy Butler of the Miami Heat. Two seasons ago, the Heat, led by Jimmy Butler, defied all odds and made a great run to the NBA Finals. As a result of that, the Heat had a ton of expectations last season, to which they fell way short of by getting swept in the first round of the playoffs. Butler showed he's capable of being a number one option on a top team two years ago, but after the way last season ended, there have been questions about whether the bubble had anything to do with that and if that run was a big sham altogether. It also didn't help much that Butler himself had a pretty bad showing in the playoffs last season, scoring a mere 14 points per game while shooting an abysmal 29% from the field for the series. The Heat brought in Kyle Lowry this summer to aid Jimmy in terms of overall creation and playmaking which should lighten the load that he has to carry, and hopefully make his life easier out on the court, and the Heat have more than enough talent around them to contend with the best teams in the East right now. They'll go as far as Jimmy takes them though, and which Jimmy shows up when it matters will ultimately decide that. And finally, the last player we'll be discussing today that needs a bounce back season is Julius Randle of the New York Knicks. Randall has been a player on the verge of breaking out for a while now, and last year we finally saw it happen. At least in the regular season we saw it happen. In the regular season his production was pretty insane, putting up about 24 points, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists per game, while shooting the ball efficiently both inside and out. However, as the case is with pretty much everybody we've discussed today, in the playoffs he came up short. Against the Hawks, he only managed to put up about 18 points per game while shooting a terrible 29% from the field. He couldn't find his rhythm at all when defenses started to hone in on him, and his sudden ascension into stardom got put on hold for the time being. The Knicks brought in more offensive help this summer by way of Kemba Walker and Evan Fournier though, so Randall isn't going to be expected to do nearly as much as he did before, so now we'll actually get to see if his emergence was the real deal or if it was a one-time thing. And with that being said, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below how you think these players will perform this year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.